I had finally made it to the lab. However, James made the decision to progress without me. A mistake that has cost him his life. I would mourn him if I had the time. But now time was short. The groaning imbeciles wander the streets, seeking my ripe juicy flesh, but today they will be left wanting. This doctor will not go down without a fight. I have constructed what basic defenses I can. I will need more, but to escape them, to wait until dark, I will need to kill. And so bring it, I say. Show me what you've got. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Brand's Tale. Thank you so much for all of your support of this series so far. Thank you to everyone that has checked it out so far. I know Cataclysm isn't the kind of game that's for everyone, but to see so many people give it a go makes me super super happy because this game has some fantastic storytelling potential and also has a level of depth to it that you just don't get in other games now we're back with bran and i believe from his little intro that he is indeed correct today he will need to do more killing the firefighter zombie isn't going to be a walk in the park they they have more armor to them. They have more beef to them. The gear that's protecting them is going to protect them from our strikes. Now, we could leave him to his own devices. He doesn't actually see us at the moment. That's something that we can do. What I think our goal is at the moment, because of how crazy things are up the top here, it's going to be trying to get back to where we were, the auto dock, back to the basements. We have some food down there, we have some supplies down there. We might be able to let things die down on the surface if we can make it down there. We may just have to take a crazy ass run for it. Looks like there's actually someone else with you. There's a zombie as well, a regular zombie. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and move to the side, just for the time being and just see if we can track both of their progress. I did see that some of you also noted that uh, one of the corpses here hasn't been properly dealt with yet, and you're actually correct, you're, you're definitely correct. We need to deal with that. Now, you still can't see us right now. If we move into the light, you actually still can't see us, surprisingly enough. But now, nope, not even now. What if I go ahead and move down here? I think you've got us now. Yeah, there we go. Well, with that being the case, we're going to go ahead and set up and get ready. Uh, we might have been able to get you to go through the glass there, but that's okay. We can go with this. We're going to swing and wildly miss. Okay, but there we go. We did get five damage. That's a start. It's better than no damage. Lightly injured. We strike again. Okay, I wonder if we move to the side if we can keep you in the window. Let's try. Oh, nope, it took a few turns to actually be able to move across that. So let's go ahead and move back and stab and just move back, stab, move back. Get a little bit more distance from you because you're freaking me out and that's a zombie. There's a zombie inside as well. Fantastic. Well, that's news to me. Okay. All right, we're just going to keep on stabbing and moving back. Luckily, this is in the dark at the moment, so we're looking a little bit better. I did see we got critical back there as well, which is good. Stabbing again. Ah, the knife spear is literally just holding on. Okay, moving back again. Okay, and there we go. And the zombie firefighter has actually grabbed us. Not good. We are only holding on to a 2x4 right now. We need to go ahead and drop that. We need to see if we can move away. We try to break. There we go. We broke his grip. Let's go ahead and move back and see if we're going to be able to get the cudgel out in time. Okay, it took a few turns to be able to do that. So now that we've got him, you know, crawling all over this here, it's severely injured, we're going to start trying to whack him with the cudgel. Not a lot of damage. Okay, that's a little bit better. The cudgel isn't going to be able to do as much. I think um, piercing here was actually doing more damage. So we are going to be taking some damage here. We're just going to have to do what we can. 
precise strike. The critical gives us four. That's great. He's actually stunned at the moment. So let's keep on smacking. Nice. Still stunned. Excellent. Yeah, the cudgel can actually whack up with some pretty good hits here. And, and we've got bashing to one as well. Brilliant. Okay, so let's, while we're here, go ahead and deal with that corpse. That tough zombie over there can't see us. But there was a regular zombie inside. So let's just take a bit of a breather here. Get our stamina back. <clears throat> okay, oh, oh, fire axe. Oh, yes. Now, as you can see, the bash and cut is incredible. The moves to attack, not as good. Um, <laughs> there's a sweep attack. Um, there's stun as well. That's that's pretty freaking good. Um, you've already been pulped, so let's go ahead and pulp this corpse. Um, that zombie might... No, he can't see us. That's good. Okay, so let's just go back around this corner just for now. Um, that axe is very, very tempting to hold on to. There's also a whole heap of other gear here, which would be nice to go for, but um, really that fire axe, and we can actually fit it into our inventory here as well. That fire axe is definitely worthwhile us having a look at. Let's have a look at that versus the cudgel, eh? So let's go cudgel, and tools, fire axe. Yeah, so the damage you can see is... is a lot higher. Actually, the moves per attack, it's not too much more. The two hit bonus is a little bit less, but, um, yeah, it's got some, it, it's good, it's good. I like it. It's also got tree cutting quality to it as well, so there we go. Um, we'll hold on to the cudgel for now, but I think we're going to keep the fire axe as our weapon of choice right now. So let's just go ahead and wield the fire axe, storing the cudgel into our inventory. We're thirsty. We do have, we have a can of beer. Do we want to have that now? I'm not so sure. That zombie's inside. Th this might be a good chance for us to test this out, to see what it's going to be like. Now, our knife spear broke over here, so that all the bits of the knife spear are there, apart from the long string. So, we'll have to try and grab that. I mean, I just feel more comfortable using the spear, just because it gives us that distance. Um, let's just get our full stamina back, and we'll see if we can try out this thing against old zombie friend here. Okay, what can we do with you? We can't can't really go too far back this way, because then we might have other zombies outside seeing us. So let's just do this for now. Wait, and strike. Okay. Oh, wow. That is some serious damage. Just two strikes. This thing is strong. As you can see, though, it is also dangerous because, um, yeah, it, 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 if we miss, it sucks. But if we hit, wow, we're doing some pretty damn good damage with that. Okay, still thirsty. We're just going to stay thirsty for now. I don't think we're going to drink that beer, not while we're having to do combat. And saying that, though, beer can increase our strength. We've got one zombie outside. I'd kind of like to try and see if we can deal with that. If we can actually try and lure some others over here, it'll make getting to the house all the more easier. Just regular zombies and a zombie child. Yeah, we'll see if we can pull some of them. If not, this one that's out the front of us right now. We don't seem to be able to get any. I mean, we could shout, but that, I think it's going to get too much attention. Let's just take a little bit of a step. Another little bit of a step. It's, I guess this is a good test as well to see how far we can go before things see us. Now that will, one will have seen us. Okay, let's start moving back inside. Get ready to try and fight him in the window. We should be- oh, there he is. Okay, he manages to grab us. He just destroyed our cargo pants. That's not so good. Strike again. Okay, under the claw. But we managed to kill him. Let's go ahead and just bring down that music volume ever so slightly there. Okay. Alright. So. We're taking some damage, but we are taking them out a lot faster, and I think that's... I think that's good. I mean, that damage is just incredible from that. Let's go ahead. I want to actually stand in the window for a second. We've spotted a shade zombie. Can't see us right now. Let's see, you've got orange soda? Yes, freaking please. Let's go ahead and bash your corpse as well. Now, a lot of these, you know, um, 
undead have items on them that would be worth us kind of going for like the leather jacket for example if we cut that up you can get all kinds of um, leather patches however if we do that while it's filthy it means we need to clean every single one of them so what you want to do is you want to clean it before you cut it up so that's why I'm not slicing any of those up yet um, I think I do want to try and grab these leftovers. Um, we're not really going to be able to. The 2x4 should be easy enough to come by. Same thing with the rag, so let's just take the spike for now. And we're going to have another little pair out this window and just see what's what. Okay. The zombie cops are a little troubling. Those regular zombies, they're not as um, frightening to me, but the numbers that are down there right now are still pretty large. So. What I'm thinking is I'd like to just try and rush and get back down. Like rush for this door here and just try and get back downstairs. And try and hope that, this, that they move on. That they get drawn away to something else. What is that over there? Is that a zombie dog? No, it's a decayed zombie. Now a decayed zombie we should be able to take care of. So let's go ahead and bring him back. We'll see if we can actually bring him through one of these windows. He'll be doing damage to himself that way. There we go, 26, 24, okay, and that's a death, great, fantastic, so we'll have to take a step outside again, um, that's not this one, there's a cash card, and that's it, mail carrier shirt, let's go ahead and smash that corpse, and we'll just take a step just over here, just so we don't get too wet, although we're already wet and we're already upset about filthy gear, wow, we really don't like being wet, okay, yeah, we need to get more environmental gear sooner. Because that just gets you in a terrible mood. So we've got four zombies and a cop. Okay. Could try and keep up the strategy of just trying to bring one or two across. If we bring anything more than that... Hey, we got a tough zombie. Okay, alright. Okay. You gonna go through that window? Yep. You sure are. Okay. He gropes at us, but he misses. Okay. We both miss. Okay. We, we managed to send him reeling, knocking him back there. He must nearly be dead. He's close too. Okay. He managed to smash the windows. Okay. Good. Nearly dead. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. The window and this axe are working out pretty damn good for us. Let's go back over here. Let's see. You don't have anything new for us. Just knee-high boots. Okay. Stop smashing? No. Only if they start approaching. Okay, so we're just looking down at the house again. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, well let's actually try and see if we can fight you in the window. Unfortunately. Um, where did your corpse end up? Here as well? Yep. Okay, that's another one inside the house. So they're making their way down from inside now. Oh, close that. Okay, that's a feral hunter. Not so nice. Yeah, we're going to have to try and keep him in that window frame. Didn't happen. Oh, come on. Come on. God damn. Okay, it's more than I wanted. A pair of scissors, we'll go ahead and take that. Bash the corpse. Let's get back inside the house for now. We must have been dragging attention from up here somehow. They must have been coming through that window. We need to get our stamina back and just chill for a second. Stay in the shadows. Although in saying that, shady zombies can see us in the shadows, so... Let's be aware of that. They're quite far away, though. So I'm going to cross our fingers that we're going to be okay. We've taken a bit of damage, more than I would have liked, and our equipment has as well, so... Something for us to keep in mind. Hmm. Okay. We can take some more cargo pants, but I don't think we're going to. I think what we're going to have to do, because look, we're not we're not clearing them out down here. We're just getting more and more, more and more trouble. And there's they're already in the home as well. So I think we're just going to have to make that run for it now. So let's just get our full stamina back, and then we're just going to start running down there. Wish Ben the best. Here we go. We start running. We just start making a beeline straight for the door. There it is. Let's go down. 
Let's make it down. And let's see if we can get things moving. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I don't think we have the strength to move anything here, actually. We might. It's really heavy. Okay, what about the chair? Can we even move the chair? Really, the chair's too heavy. If we drink the beer really quick, that gives us eight strength. Let's get this table moved. Okay. We're hearing noises. Pretty sure that those noises are coming from upstairs. What I'm trying to do is just getting anything that we can put in front of those doors. Ideally, we'd put bookcases, but I don't think we can move those. Nope, too heavy. Yeah, eight strength isn't enough to do that. A chair is better than nothing. Okay. So we've got a table and a chair in front of the door. We're gonna go back here. I swear we could see in here better before. Maybe we couldn't. Maybe we couldn't. Okay, alright. So we made it back inside. Our arm has taken some damage. Blood soaked rag, okay. We've got bacon. Let's go ahead and put that in the fridge for now. There are probably other things that we can eat. How the hell did you get down here so quick? I didn't even hear the doors getting bashed. What in the hell? Um, we don't have any other option but to try and strike it. This is not good. This could be the end. Okay. Move back into the door. If it's still out there. I think it is. I think it's still alive. How the hell did it get down here so fast? Unless it was already down here somehow. Where is it? Bruised zombie dog corpse. We killed it! We have to check the door now. Oh shit, they're here now. They're here now. If we can find anything else... Anything else to push over the front of this door, we're gonna need everything we can get. We don't have a lot though. They're just gonna keep on pushing against the door. I think it's gonna be good to be able to see. We activate the glow stick. Oh, we can't see far at all. It didn't even sound like it broke down the door then. There's a shrieker there. Makeshift knapsack is cut. We managed to kill the shrieker. If the shrieker's there, that means others can get through though, right? The door isn't broken. How the hell did it get down here? I'm concerned because the dog didn't go through there. I think that shrieker just appeared. I think it teleported somehow. <laughs> I don't know how many are on the other side of this. We need to try... The doors haven't been broken yet. We need to try and find some other things we can put in front. Can I move you? It's really heavy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're eventually going to get through these doors. I could try and open the doors and have it be a little bit more controlled. But as soon as we open that door, there is no closing it. We can try and lock ourselves in one of these rooms. Can I move the counter? Nope. Oh no. Are they right above us now as well? Oh yep. Yep. They are. There's a zombie right there. And another zombie replaces it. This one's grabbed a hold of us, biting our torso. We swing at it as it claws. That one dies. That's two zombies down. Another one has replaced it instantly. We strike again and again with our axe, trying to block some, but taking bites to the torso. We managed to clear them, but in front of the door, we can't close it. So we're gonna have to try and see if we can move them. That's a lot of things to move. We'll see if we can start moving them. There's a backpack there. That's really cool. Okay, we managed to move everything. We can close the door. Oh, okay. Right. Creamy soda, drink. Okay. 
I'm tempted just to wear that backpack, screw being upset about. And we're just gonna have to go ahead and drop our makeshift knapsack. Now, do I have, if I can get a 2x4 I can make a spear, but then that's not gonna help us in here because it's, it's too dark for us to actually be able to see any further. Hmm. Not good, not good. Let's just take our breath, get our breath back. They could have been the only ones that followed us downstairs. We're not actually hearing any other mashing right now. That's great. Let's have an aspirin as well, see if we can start to deal with that pain. Um, we need to smash these corpses though, which is going to be a little loud. We pulp all of them. Okay. Well, there goes our nice clean bathroom. It's now covered in blood. <laughs> But hey, we're alive for the time being. That's a freaking great sign. Um, are we still wet? Because we can use the towel. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that bloody towel. Activate the towel. Dry ourselves. We saturate it. Fantastic. Go and drop the saturated towel. Um, I don't know how we... Because you can't wring it out. There's got to be a way to unwet a towel. Maybe it's like unloading water from it somehow. Can you unload the towel? No. <laughs> Um, let's just see if we can activate the two-way radio again. No, we can't, unfortunately. Alright, so let's go out. Let's be bold-ish. And see. Look at that! They didn't get through. Again, teleporting. What's going on? So, somehow, sometimes things are able to just go down through the floors. And I don't understand that. They just appear. That's how the dog appeared. That's how the shrieker appeared. And that's apparently how those three appeared. I'm half tempted to open it and just continue to fight our way through. Shade zombie. Alright dude, let's do this thing. Okay, I think we actually killed that one. Is there anything else there? Is that the only one? I don't know. I think it is. Holy crap. Pair of scissors, we got a pair of scissors, we got a, we got a pair of scissors. Um, there isn't anything else down here. We might be in the clear. I still want to reinforce this door more. I still want to put more things in front of it. Uh, we need to go ahead and smash the Shrieker's corpse. We may have successfully got down here and separated ourselves from them. Not a easy task. Not an easy task at all. I really wish we had more light down here. We've got a glow stick, so we, we're able to see some things. So we're able to do some things as well. Um, we won't be able to do too much crafting by the light, unfortunately. Um, okay. Let's just see what we've got going on down here that's pulped. Okay. Alright, so, something that we do need. I wanted to make a washboard at some point. Uh, we just need 2x4s to be able to do that. I don't know if we've broken any two, anything down here yet. Uh, the counters should be made out of wood, so we should be able to just bash them. We can also bash this table. We can also use it as well, but I don't think we're going to be able to drag it. Yep, really heavy. So let's just go ahead and smash it for now. Break the table to pieces, we get two 2x4s two out of that, okay. Can we see well enough to be able to make a washboard? Yes, we can, just a minute and 18 seconds. We make ourselves a washboard, brilliant. So we have some soap, we should be able to start cleaning these things off, because we do have water around. I'm, I'm sure there was soap in here somewhere. Do we have soap down here somewhere? It's a bathroom, right? There's a towel. No soap underneath there. Um, let's go check in the other room. We we keep on losing stamina. Why is that? Do we have our inhaler? We do. Let's just get our stamina back. You know, we're losing stamina again. Why are we losing stamina like that? Pain? Lit up? Let's just... Yeah, it seems to be going away while we're walking. Are we over... Like, are we carrying more weight? Nope. We're fine. That's bizarre. I don't know why that's happening. We also need to remake ourselves a knife spear as well. Um, okay, going down to here. Ah, no soap, really? Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it needs to be reloaded with soap. I think. Hey, if it's just water? You can use it if it's supplied with a cleansing agent. Okay. But maybe disinfectant could work as well, right? Let's activate the washboard. 
No items were selected. Oh, you can select multiple. You need 34 charges of water or clean water. To oh, we can totally do that. The toilet. Okay. Yeah. Let's make that happen. Okay. I'm just going to zoom right in because we're not going to be able to see any further at this stage. Um, okay, so backpack as well. Definitely want to do that. Back backpack and the right helmet. 100%. So let's go activate washboard, right helmet, and the backpack. Okay. You need 34 charges of water. Okay. There's only 24. Damn. Okay. And that would be all of our water from the toilet gone. Hmm, that's... That's tough. How about we just do one for now then? Let's just do the backpack. You need two charges of cleaning engine. Oh, come on. Why didn't you tell me that from the start? <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, that ain't going to be a thing. Well, look, while we're in here, we might as well not be getting upset about things, right? So let's just go drop the backpack and the riot helmet, which means we'll probably drop a whole heap of other things. Because um, we just need to start trying to improve our mood a little bit here so we start getting our focus back. So yeah, we dropped a whole heap of things there. That That's that's okay. That's all right. I think I want to take the plastic bottle and just fill up some water. Okay. Good, we've got some water there. It is just regular water, so... Could be better. Um, so, active glow stick. We can't turn it off, so we might as well try and make the most of it. We're a little bit hungry now as well, so we could have the bacon, but the bacon lasts a long time. So let's just see what else we have food-wise in the fridge that we can kind of go with. Dropping the bacon into there. Uh, cookies, okay, all right. Um, they take about a year to rot, so we can we, we can leave that for a little while. The fruit juice, we're going to go ahead and have that. And maybe the apple and the orange will carry around with us. The BLTs, they last for two days, so we need to make sure we have those as well. So let's just start off by having the fruit juice. See if we can get slaked. Fantastic, and that's our hunger gone, so we'll have the apple as well maybe even the orange and we are playing with the proper um vitamin requirements in this as well so we're going to need to try and keep having you know varied food sources like that oh wow okay um we don't need to be carrying around the copper wire and the scrap so we're just going to go drop that on like our little workbench here because eventually we are going to make a light strip um we just don't quite have everything we need to be able to do that yet i believe let's have a look at light strip um, so unpowered, we need an amplifier circuit and electronic scrap. Okay, we'll get there eventually. I don't know why this music is on. This is just weird. Let's go for the next track. <laughs> Hopefully it's better. Okay, all right. I'm just glad we have a chance to kind of breathe down here. Um, even if it's a little bit, and even if there's, no, th there's barely any light down here. I swear we had more light before. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I, I swear we did. Hey, look at that. The towel's okay. Oh, well, I guess it didn't take that long to dry off. That's good. That's something, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised there's no, there's no soap down here. That's a real bummer. I'm just going to check around the rest of the place. Television, I'd love to be able to disassemble that, but we do need a screwdriver to be able to do that. Um... Can we make a makeshift screwdriver by chance? Um, wait, we can make a screwdriver that easy? Two chunks of steel and some duct tape? I mean, we don't have any duct tape, but I didn't realize that you could make a screwdriver that easy. That's great. Hey, we got a bag of salt. Let's go ahead and just put that in the fridge with the rest of our foodstuffs. Eventually, we're going to have to move these bodies around because it's not healthy just to leave them sticking out like that so uh, I was dropping off the salt wasn't I yeah yeah let's just um have a little bit of look around the rest of the place yeah we do have books in here that's fantastic we will definitely be making use of those in time um, okay all right so now that we have this other backpack though we can take apart we should be able to do this Something else that we need to do as well. It's on my list of things to do is to make a wooden needle. Definitely something we need to do. So having a look at our 
there, the makeshift knapsack, we want to go ahead and we'll just wear it for a second because we're going to disassemble it. So the makeshift knapsack, we're going to go ahead and disassemble. Long pants and string, yes please. And so now with that, if we grab ourselves a 2x4, which shouldn't be too difficult to do, there is one around the corner from memory. Are we holding on to any right now? No. No. Okay. Go ahead and grab 2x4. We've still got the glow stick on, so we should be able to make this. We go back into here. We should be able to make ourselves a... Hmm, why is it not there? Knife spear. We are missing... We're missing a rag. Okay, well... We can do that. We can we can get a rag. That's doable. Um, so, what do we have that we can cut up into rags? Well, we can get rags from the couch. That's also completely doable. And I guess... I guess it's something we'll just have to do. We're just smashing up some of our furniture. Go ahead and wump, wump, wump. We're making noise here, which isn't super great. Okay, alright. So we just need one rag, but thank you for all of those. Um, hmm, okay. Everything is nice and close. Um, can we make it now? No. <laughs> what are we missing that's down there? The spike. Okay. This is just frustrating. Um, we'll go ahead and just drop our fire axe off just for now. All we needed was one rag, so... Fine, wield the rag. Do what you need to do. Alright, knife spear. Perfect, we have ourselves a knife spear. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Now, I reckon we probably could get around with wearing this backpack still. It's going to make us upset, but it's not going to make us incredibly upset. Yeah, minus six is totally doable. All the all the other bonuses that we have on there are great. We're still guilty about killing, though, which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's make sure we have um, our fire axe out. Purely just because we can only see one square in here, so... It's going to be better to be using that than the other. We can probably get rid of the pain as well by having some more aspirin. We just don't want to overdo it with the painkillers. Need to be very, very mindful of that. Okay, epic music. Fortunately, not the most epic of scenarios. They're pulped. Pinball machine. Now, we might actually be able to get some... I didn't think about this, but if we smash some of the exercise machinery, we might be able to get some components. So let's go ahead and start trying to smash that to pieces. Um, okay, we get a pipe, some RAM. Well... With the pipe, we can go ahead and make ourselves a makeshift crowbar, which is definitely a tool that we need. Zombie child is approaching. Stop crafting. Yes! How did the zombie child get down here? I'd love to know that. Okay. Okay, the zombie child is dead. I have no idea how you got down here. And we're hearing wumps. That'll be happening from above. Okay, we need to be very, very careful, because <laughs> even when we make noise, they seem to be able to crawl down through the floorboards. Um, yes, let us be careful. Um, okay, more noises. And that's above. Hearing wumps above, that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. Um, can we try and continue our crafting? There we go, we make ourselves a makeshift crowbar. Brilliant. So we've got some scrap metal, we've got some RAM. Um, it was duct tape that we needed, yeah? Hmm. Okay. If we can get an amplifier circuit, that'd be great. So if we bash up the pinball machine, we might be looking okay. Um, if we just hit a screwdriver, it would be great at taking apart all this furniture and getting everything from it. Rather than just a few things. The stereo system we can't break up or, or destroy. Just smacking it's not going to do anything. Unfortunately, it's one of these things that we just can't take apart for some reason. Um, we could try and smash the pinball machine. I think we're going to do it. Okay. Um, we got bearings, surprisingly enough. Okay. Plastic chunks, glass shards, copper wires. I mean, all, all of the stuff is useful, and what we're going to end up doing is collating everything in one area, so all the scrap we're going to have is just going to be sitting in one space down here. And that's going to make it so that we just have access to all those things. So, I'm going to go over here as well. We want to go ahead and shift everything up to here. Like so. Uh, but the body we're going to go ahead and put 
just across by the door. Um, same with the cloves as well, we don't need the cloves. Pop zombie corpse. Perfect. Um, yeah, we'll leave the stereo there for now, that's fine. So, we're just going to keep a, moving you up to here, just going move all. Uh, Alright, that's the bookshelf, we don't need that, so start shifting across. Wham bam. Eventually, I'll get to know the layout of this place a little bit better. So if we just go north from here, yeah, that's going to work out perfect. And we do want to transfer all those things as well, so that'll work. And then just transfer them up to there. Put everything on the table. Fantastic. So we've got a whole heap of stuff up there now. Great. Brilliant. And you know what? Let's start dealing with these bodies as well. We might as well. So let's see. We've got a the cyborg corpse the corpse of our friend, um, the zombie corpse, the clothing we're going to deal with separately because that's something that we can still get resources from, we just need to clean them first. Okay, alright so we should have those as well, go ahead and just move them down, rather, yes, that's right, yeah, oh, you as well, my bad, okay. Let's just do an all-around search and just start moving them downwards. Eventually we'll find time to uh, put them somewhere. I think we're probably just going to have them be like in the corner of, of one of these rooms. We could, we could actually just stash them down here. I feel like that's a spot that works. It's kind of down by the bathroom, it's slightly out of the way. We've got this corpse here to deal with as well. Uh, we've got the shade as well, but I'm a little... I'm, I'm nervous about opening this door, but I'm sure it'll be fine, right? We'll go ahead and actually move everything across just for now. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, bugger. Now, what's our guess? What What are we going to guess is there? Um, is this pile of clothing slowing us down? It isn't. Okay, it's just a regular zombie. Let's start to do our business. 34 damage. Nice. It managed to break its grab. It managed to rip our dress shirt. It's nearly gone now. We managed to kill a zombie. Okay, what do we have there? Good sir. A hairpin? Okay, alright. Nothing else. Okay, well we'll just go ahead and transfer everything. Moving it up to there. Closing the door. And we'll separate the body from this pile. And I'm going to go ahead and pulp it. So that it's done now. You are going to go down to here. Got six bodies down there. Alright, so we've got some clothing there as well. The clothing we can start to gather up. Um, oh, I missed a body. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just start shifting everything across to the side for now. Okay. I want to move the clothing up to here as well, so I might as well go ahead and start moving that. That's fine. And we want the bodies. Or rather, the body. Oh, I kind of split up the clothing. That's fine. It'll work, won't it? I know, inventory management isn't always the most exciting thing, but what we need to be doing right now is just resting up and healing, and we're able to do things at the same time. So that does help. Now, the, the pair of scissors are something that we can use. They, they are tools still, so... We'll kind of try and keep things aligned as best we can. Alright, so we got clothing there as well. So, let's see. Uh, we want the element can and the pair of scissors to go with the other stuff, and then we'll just start transferring all of these just a little bit further along. And that'll also include these as well. It's clothing that we might be able to make use of eventually, and I find the sooner that you do this, the easier it's going to be. Um, and what I mean by that is just organizing things into piles. So we've got clothing here, we've got scrap and tools here, and when we actually have more tools, we'll start probably storing them just up the top along this little section here. And hopefully have a little light installed or something like that so we can actually see what we're doing. Because right now it is getting on to like 450. It might be worth us having a little bit of a sleep now in the hopes that we'll be able to get up and make use of some of the night. Yeah. I'm 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 a little unsure about that, about that if that's what we really want to do. 
We want to make sure that we are going out with barely anything in our inventory as well. So, for example, things like the Peritongs, we don't need to have those with us. The crowbar is definitely going to be worth us holding on to. Um, the fire axe is a great weapon for us to be utilizing. The knife spear we're probably not going to even be able to use, so we're going to leave that here as well. Purely just because if we go up there at night, we're only going to be able to see one square in front of us anyway. Uh, we're not going to need the chunk of steel if we have the makeshift crowbar because it can work as a as a hammer I think and the washboard we're not going to need as well so we're going to drop all of those off and just double check that this can actually do no it doesn't have hammering so I don't think we'll need a hammer on the go if we need to chop down any doors or anything like that the fire axe will be great for that but the makeshift crowbar does that job perfectly fine um right let's have some fruit juice and then think about going to sleep we're going to have the fire axe in our hands as we do attempt to sleep and uh yeah, we can actually set our alarm, so we could set the alarm to wake up in five hours. We'll go ahead and do that, wake up at 10 o'clock. Okay, we try to go to sleep, but we can't. We're not really tired yet, but we'll keep on trying. Just keep on saying five hours. Eventually, all right. Oh, we actually had to use our inhaler there. Well, it's it's nice that we're doing it automatically. It's just something that we're going to have to be aware of, that eventually that is going to run down. So trying to find a new inhaler will be what we're after okay we're hungry now so I guess we'll go ahead and um, we can have that again slightly deal with our hunger let's just go for four hours this time or we'll try to um, oh look at that okay we can see a little bit more now I wonder why that is that's intriguing I wonder if it was um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was because of our pain or something like that, but um, something was stopping us from being able to see uh, as well as we can. So, yeah, I don't know what that was, but um, let's go have a BLT. And probably have a, No, we don't want to overdo it, because that's our only food source right now, so we need to keep that in mind. Um, so, volume-wise, we're looking pretty good. It's 7, and we can see pretty well down here. Don't know if that means that we'll be able to see as well on the surface. Going onto the surface as well is definitely going to be a risk. I was hoping that we'd have recovered more of our torso, but we haven't. So that's a bit unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. Um, is our glow stick still active? No, it isn't. I wonder if our glow stick was killing our night sight for some reason. I mean, it could have actually. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a dead glow stick. Okay, so dead glow stick let's just go ahead and drop you in the junk pile for now plastic bottle we'll go ahead and drop you in the slightly useful pile which will just go up the top okay all right um i think we're gonna we're gonna poke our head up on the surface really quick okay so it's still definitely daytime so that is a big no and there were other things up there so we're just gonna wait to see if they yep it sounds like yep there's probably a zombie and a zombie child. Indeed, that is the case. So, we can try and get them to come across the furniture towards us. Because this furniture is going to slow them down by a, well, an okay amount. Good slice on the zombie. Another good one, we send him reeling backwards, but he manages to get back in time. You strike again and kill him. Okay. Come on, zombie child. Unfortunately, this is going to upset us. Okay, close up shop. Oh, we got food and we got beer. Brilliant. Okay, good stuff. Well, we'll go ahead and smash them as we do. And we'll go ahead and start that little separation process again. We're going to take the the corpses first. And then let's go take the food separately. And then the clothing will all go up this way. Just like so. And the cycle begins. Slowly clearing out part of this area. Or at the very least trying to. Alright, let's get that moving. And we'll just make it all around. Start shifting it up that way. And luckily it seems that we can access this fridge from both sides. Brilliant. Okay, as for you, clothing, we're going to start to shift you up this way. Um, porcelain breaking. Ignore. I'm hoping that better have been upstairs. Okay, it is upstairs, but it's also frightening to think that something has just destroyed part of our building. Pause in the breaking means that the bathtub or something like that has collapsed, um, but it's also probably because a wall has collapsed on it. Not super awesome. Not super awesome at all. Okay. Um, well, I guess we can try and go back to sleep again. 
We're just gonna wait here. Wait here for a while. It's eight. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Makes me think there's some really big and nasty roaming around the house. Just literally knocking down all the walls. The fire truck's roof is destroyed. That sounds like there's a fire. Just how quickly things are smashing down here. We use our inhaler. We are hearing some death as well, so that definitely could be a fire. Well, let's just try and sleep. And we're just going to try and do a full sleep here. Okay, we do actually fall asleep. So we'll, I'll be intrigued to see how long he sleeps for. And as we're sleeping, you can see that our torso and our arm are starting to heal throughout the night, which is very good. And we're actually fully healed, which is brilliant. We'll just let our man sleep when he wakes up. If it's day, well, then that's okay. If it's night, we'll see if we can do some sneaking around. I wasn't expecting to be swinging big axes around and stuff like that. That was, um, yeah, not something that I expect. Oh, look at this, three. Okay, that's actually kind of good. That works out for us. Let's go over here first of all. We want to have something to eat, so we're going to have one of our BLTs. Okay, have another. And have another if it's not going to kill us. No. Well, it's not going to kill us, it's just a waste if we do. Uh, now we want to have something to drink. So we've got sports drink there as well. We've also got this bottle of water, which probably isn't going to be good for us to drink. Let's have the orange soda. Nice. And that's actually got us in a really good mood as well. So our focus is looking pretty awesome. Our morale is great. And so we should have a can. We're going to go ahead and just drop that can uh, down with the rest of the stuff here. And we're going to have a peek upstairs and just see what's see what's what. We won't be able to see much, I think. Okay. Well, we can see as far as we can downstairs. We can see that part of the uh, building has been destroyed. Okay. Now, if we do want to try and go anywhere, where do we want to go? The bank could still be a really good place for us to go. Um... We've got our stethoscope on, so we we have the potential to be able to break into some places. Now, I'm hoping that their night sight is going to be worse than ours is. We can already see... A, oh, hello, zombie. Can you see me right now? You can, but you're nearly dead, so I'm going to try and kill you. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to go around... Um, I'm going to take the long string, definitely. Man, we could actually use our spear. We're going to go downstairs really quick and get our spear. Um, because I didn't realize we'd have such good sight. Okay. We're going to go ahead and grab the knife spear. We're going to wield the knife spear. Okay. Oh, no, those are bifocal glasses. What the hell? Um, okay, well, I guess K didn't stick, did it? <laughs> no. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and wield you. And it sounds like we've got trouble as well, which is great. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, okay, it's a shade zombie, so we're probably going to lose sight of you. We're just going to have to stand here and just pierce you. The fire axe would actually be much better in this scenario. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything else we could do about it. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to drop that in the fridge really quick. And uh, let's just go separate your body from your clothes. Pair of rollerblades. Now that is tempting. Rollerblades can be really, really, really good. They're terrible on uneven surfaces, but on roads you can get some really good speed. That could actually be quite good for us to be able to just motor around here. They actually fit as well. It's tempting. I guess it's also dependent on how long they take to put on and off. We're going to try it. I reckon we're going to try it. We are going to freaking try this. So let's go ahead and take off our dress shoes. We're just going to keep them in our backpack for now then. We're going to take the pair of rollerblades and we're going to go ahead and wear them. Okay, so now we have rollerblades on. We use our inhaler again. Let's just have a look at the rollerblades. Um, okay. Yeah, very fast on flat floors, but they make it hard to move on rough terrain or to dodge effectively. But as you can see at the moment, as we start moving around, they just naturally start going faster, or rather they should. Yeah, especially if you're going in a straight line for a long time, they can be really good, especially if we're running as well. But yeah, climbing stairs and stuff like that, not as effective and shite, that's a 
goddamn shrieker. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, and, and, and it's probably just sh shrieked as well. Fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and move across here. We can go ahead and stab him. Severely injured, so we managed to kill him pretty quickly, which is good. Okay, we need to start moving these bits and pieces. Shifting that across to there. There, there, there. And let's just go move you there. And move that as well. They're both bruised, so we're going to have to go ahead and smash them. Wield that fire axe. Smash it to pieces. Ignore. Oh, great. Okay, more trouble. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm thinking roll blades, maybe we're not going to be using them right now. Um, let's go back to the knife spear. Store that in our inventory. We're going to go ahead and open this. I can't see what's attacking, which means that it's probably a... Why can't I see it? Oh, it's a, it is a shade zombie. Of course it is. Let's go ahead and move across here for now. If I go ahead and stab down there... Yeah, I thought I might be able to hit it, but... Alas, that is not the case. Um, I would really like to be using the Fire Axe at the moment, rather than this. I don't know if we can get away in time to be able to do a full swap out. We could also just attack with the Knife Spear. It worked out before, but... It's heavily injured, so let's try. Nice. Okay, there we go. Let's close the door. We can't actually see anything of what's kind of going on at the moment now as well. Windbreaker, if we can clean that, that'd be fantastic because that can protect us from the rain. We've got all of those clothes down there. Okay, wield the fire axe. Smash the corpses. Go back to wielding the, the knife spear. How's our inventory space looking? It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rollerblades. And let's see if we can put those back on. Uh, nope, that was wielding. I'm a, I'm dumb. There we go. Rollerblades. Okay, let's poke our head upstairs. Okay, let's go back down. Screw life. <laughs> um, there's all kinds of trouble upstairs, so it's going to be a no-go for the rollerblades, so we'll just leave them by the door and just go put our dress shoes back on. We're not going to wield our dress shoes. And, yep, that sounds like trouble. So, are we going to go ahead and open this door? Yes, we are. And then we're going to go ahead and run just to the side here. So that we hope that it's going to step across. Can you not? Okay. Heavily injured. Stab at thee. Okay. The child is going to be slowed. See the child's going to be slowed. There we go. Let's get this door closed. Okay, all right. Well, we're getting this down to like an art form at the moment, aren't we? We're going to go ahead and shift that there. Peanut butter candies, okay. And I guess we'll just go ahead and shift those down to there. That up to there for the time being. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, they just keep on coming, don't they? I'm, I'm actually not surprised. Like, g looking at this playthrough from the start and what it ha and how much of a challenge it was going to be, I did kind of foresee instances like this where we're going to be, um, you know, having to hunker down in an area and just protect it. Just try and give everything to hold on to it. And so far, so far we haven't had to sacrifice too much, which is always good. Um, there we go. Okay, now I want to go back to the fire axe for you, buddy. So we're going to go ahead and wield that fire axe. Oh, hello. That, that was cheating. You lured me in, you son of a bitch. Okay, alright, that's not good. Our medical gloves are gouged. Managed to kill him. Let's take this shady one down. Good. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and shift those bodies and everything else. Um, a banjo? Hell yes, now we're talking. Great. Great news. Oh, no splintered wood. They did actually destroy the door. That's not good. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. All right. Take you. Shady zombie has been spotted. Stop interacting with the inventory. Yes, most certainly. Kill the shady zombie. Calculating new skills. What did we increase there? Cutting has gone up to one. Excellent. Okay. And that's another one down. We are getting, get, we're getting better at killing these things. Take you. Take you. Okay, all right. Clothing. Let's go start moving these things down. 
other goods. We need to find somewhere for you to go. You're just going to go up here for now. Splintered woods and two by fours. We need to try and repair that door. Um, now, I don't know how difficult slash easy it is going to be for us to do that construction. Um, right. What about making a makeshift door? Let's just have a look at doors. Door. Makeshift door. We need ropes for that. For this, we need a door curtain. Um, build door. Okay. Tool of hammering. So, the door frame is there. We've actually got everything we need. We just need a, a tool of hammering of two or more. And unfortunately, our little piece of steel that we have isn't two or more. Um, we don't actually have it with us right now, so... Did I actually put it with our tools? Maybe I did. Please, no one come through here while I'm looking for stuff. That would be swell. I'd really, really appreciate that. Chunk of steel. It's a hammering of one. So, yeah, no. We're not going to be able to make a makeshift hammer or anything like that, are we? Makeshift hammer? Actually, potentially, yes. We just need two... We've got a chunk of steel. That's good. Um, all we need is two small strings or some threads. Well, if we go ahead and take apart a rag, then we'd have that. Um, unfortunately, we can't do that without light. So, yeah, to get a makeshift hammer, we have a long string. Can we take that apart in the darkness? Because that's the thing, some things you can take apart in the dark, other things you can't. Makeshift hammer can also be two small strings. So, yeah, I mean, if we could disassemble that. Can't see to craft, so we're going to have to wait until the morning to be able to do that on the surface. Hmm. It's possible, though. All of this is definitely possible. We're just going to have to wait until dawn. And so, with that being the case, we're just going to have to stand here on guard. Because that's a broken door. I think that one's still good. Yeah, that one's closed. Okay, so. Let's stand here at the ready. With um, some very inspirational music playing. Uh, we can also just do, like, wait until dawn. That's also an option. Let's go over here and have a drink, though. Um, we could go for a sports drink. Let's do it. Sports drink it up. Okay. We are going to wait until dawn. One hour and 17 minutes. Just watching the doorway. We finished waiting. Okay, alright, so, I guess next question is, uh, do we want to take apart a rag, which takes an hour, or do we want to try and just disassemble this long string? I think disassembling the long string is going to be the safer option. Um, where you can see a skeletal dog and a zombie. They can't see us, though. That's good. So we need to take advantage of this little bit of time that we have here to see if we can do some work. So long string, we're going to try and disassemble you. Please don't take long. Okay, that didn't take that long. Great. Grab. Six small strings. Uh, go back downstairs for a second. We need to think about this. Hammer. Makeshift hammer. Chunk of steel. Okay. Oh, but you also need a tool of hammering. Yes, okay, I understand now. Right. Um, but I'm pretty sure we do have other chunks of steel and stuff like that down here. I think that we've stashed over here. Or we don't. Yeah, so now I understand why I was saying that we would need something else, we'd need something more. Yeah, because the chunk of steel that we're using, that's why it's like, browned out, because the chunk of steel we're using is the one that we're using for hammering, so... Hmm... We need to get a chunk of steel elsewhere. Did we not get any chunks of steel or anything like that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They destroyed part of our freaking wall. How the hell did they do that? We just got limestone? Well, I guess we've got a tool here, we've got a rock. Hammering of one. Fantastic, so <laughs> that's that problem solved. Okay, so we just need to make sure we take all the bits up that we actually need. So we're gonna go search for hammer again, makeshift hammer. Um, chunk of steel. That's good, we have that with us. I don't know why it's saying we don't. Um, a 2x4 and some small strings. So let's go ahead and take a 2x4 with us. And we've got our chunk of steel, correct? Where did that go? <laughs> Uh, 
I'm confused by where our chunk of steel has gone now. Is it still over here? Oh, we're running. My bad, my bad. Did I drop it over here then, or something? Apologies, I don't know why I've lost track of where our goddamn chunk went. Because we had that in our inventory just a moment ago, under spare parts, and now I'm confused as to where it's ended up. Because I swear we could use it around here. But, but now we can't. Now we've just got a rock, so I feel like... I feel like it... It disappeared? Am I crazy? Am I... Have I gone crazy there? I know it's probably somewhere, um... Somewhere, like, rational and visible. But, like, all of a sudden, I can't see Chunk of Steel anywhere. And I swear we were just down here last time we were doing it. Bizarre. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was left on the top for whatever reason when we dis when we did the disassem disassembly. No. Nope. It certainly wasn't. Strange. I really do wonder what was destroying this place last night as well, because something, <laughs> something was causing some pretty big problems for us. Oh, this is so frustrating. If only we could find this thing, we'd be good to go. Damn. So bizarre. Hammer. Oh, we can, here. Okay, so... Okay. What's happened? It's, it's, so it's too dark, yeah, I know that much. Um, they're both the same. This one just uses the rock. We want to go for the makeshift hammer. I think it's, it's going to be better. It's, it's really only a difference that it's made of rock. Um, okay, so chunk of steel. It must be accidentally in this fridge or something. Or just just around here. Is it in he Did I put it up with tools? I did. I'm such an idiot. Apologies for the wasted time there. It does happen from time to time. There's a zombie necromancer around as well. Ah... Uh, the shady zombie can see us. The zombie necromancer is tracking currently. <sighs> I'm just gonna go ahead and stand to the side slightly here. We've got a zombie child. We've got a few others. Okay, mm, this is not good. They have seen us, so they're probably gonna come down and try and attack us now. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna stand here. Let's go ahead and wield our knife spear. It could be the shady zombie that comes for us first. It could be something else. We don't know. Let's just wait. Okay, it's a shady zombie, and he just grabs us straight away. Okay, we're just gonna have to try and fight him. Okay, luckily, we're actually getting much more um, acceptable at fighting. If that zombie necromancer is around, I would very much love to kill it. Because that's gonna be able to bring everything else back to life. That zombie child we can also deal with. I'm actually fine with us starting to fight things up here, to a degree. As long as that child makes it here before some of these other things do. So we can start taking like a few strikes before we try and jump down the stairs. Let's start running now. We'll go ahead back up to this door. We'll just wait. Take a stab. Take a stab. Okay. So many misses. What's going on? Come on, really? Okay, well I guess we're just gonna have to try and move around our little space here, as best as we can. Deal with the lightly injured zombie here. And hope that nothing worse finds its way down here. There we go, that's good. We will check them out in a moment, we're just gonna have to deal with anything else that might be making its way down. Okay. Deep breaths, my friend. Deep breaths. Okay, stepping back up. What do we got? Okay, we got trouble. The zombie necromancer needs to die. So we need to try and kill these things as quickly as possible. Let's not hit the, the door. There's an acidic zombie as well, which is not good for anyone. It looks like the zombie necromancer might actually be coming down, though. So if he does come along, I'll be happy. Come on. Pop down the stairs. Okay, zombie. We'll go ahead and strike. And miss multiple times. Okay, um, yes, I know we spotted him. Go up this way. Don't you destroy that door as well. Just take a step through. Take a 
God damn it. Fine. Yes, it's dangerous. I don't want that door. I don't want that door dying. Not today. Not on our watch. Okay, good damage. Come on. Okay, we're going good. Those chairs and tables are still here as well. So they're still helping us out. There's a fat zombie up there. There was potentially an acidic zombie as well. Oh, right, there we go. Okay, so the zombie child rises from the dead. Unless that's what happened. Unless the zombie necromancer was raising things from the dead down here, but I don't know if that's what was happening before. Still, we need to kill this thing. I don't care about the child. The child can bite us as much as it wants. We need to kill this thing. Oh, there's a shade as well. Oh no, it's bringing them all back to life. Oh no. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, all right. I think it might actually be better for us if we try and make our way upstairs, but we can also try and use the space in here. We're just gonna have to take a bit of damage to be able to do this, so... Come on, break up the grab, break up the grab, and go. Come on, why can't I move? What's going on? Am I still grabbed? We're blinded. Apparently we couldn't move up that way. That was my own damn mistake for thinking that we could move. Um, apparently we were unable to move in that instance. Okay, we got a fat zombie. If you stand on the stairs and block them, that'd be amazing. Where was the teamwork, buddy? Where was the teamwork? Okay, alright. Are we still walking right now? We are walking. Okay, alright. How about we start trying to run? If we can make our way back downstairs... Yes, we're in a lot of pain right now. It's not good for anyone. But if we can make our way back downstairs, we can get back into the area where we can fight comfortable. Comfortably. Comfortable. God damn it. Okay, alright. Um, moderately injured. Let's return to the grave. Good stabbing. Good stabbing. Alright, zombie child. Okay, we're gonna have to move back in a moment. How damaged are you, moderately? Okay, the knife spear's damaged. I'm trying not to worry about the zombie child, but the zombie child is definitely still an issue. We need to start backing up. Use the chair. Fat zombie's nearly down, but we're suffering from a lot of pain. Okay, we can't kill anything in that square there. Move back. Move back again. Starting to get out of breath. Something else there now. As long as that zombie necromancer is dead, I'm happy. We can miss this child for days. Eventually we will hit. Come on. This, this is like Ultra Child. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Fire Axe out in time. We've just gone back to that. Will the Fire Axe... Oh, no. Come on. Not like this. Not like this. Fight, my man. Fight. We are so close to death. We need to run as fast as we can, which isn't very fast at all. We don't have long. Go. We're losing blood. Okay. All right. Bran. Breathe. We're going to be able to make it through this. Okay. Oh, the bleeding stopped. Okay, that's good. The bleeding had stopped. Okay. I was thinking we might not have time to disassemble the first aid kit. First aid kit, we're gonna go ahead and grab you. We're going to go ahead and disassemble it. We need to use the disinfectant, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We need to start to disinfect that leg, because it is, it is nearly gone. It is nearly gone. Activate, disinfect. It's disinfected. Good. Okay, we're also going to do the same to the torso as well. I know it says it doesn't need it, but part of the healing process, I think it's going to be a smart thing to do. Torso. Okay, we're going to take that um, medical gauze. We're going to wrap that around the torso. We're going to take the gauze and wrap that around 
the left leg and then the right leg we're gonna have to take some painkillers after that and some I thought that was it a zombie necromancer especially on day two that could have easily spelled the death for us um, having him down here he would just be able to raise back all those bodies we had piled up actually no the ones that we'd bashed he can't but there were still other bodies down here that he was raising and so yeah it was tunnel vision trying to take that thing down but we're just alive only just and so with that we'll sit in the auto dock chair we'll catch our breath use our inhaler and just hope that we're gonna make it through another day this is only his second day here and what a day it's been <laughs> what a morning god damn you're still alive my friend and we're gonna need you to stay that way please do join me in the next episode though I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.